Hi, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Impact Series hosted by 4.0. Today, I'm absolutely delighted to have Johannes Burgard, uh, who is a founder and CEO of Zolitic. Um, so, Johannes, look, firstly, welcome. Thanks very much for jumping on uh, the video with me today. Hello, Michael. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So, Johannes, look, um, obviously, we, we've met each other a few times now, so I'm pretty informed about yourself and the business. But for those people that, that obviously yeah, don't know uh, Zolotic, don't know about the business, can you give us an introduction into the company, um, the climate issues that Zolotic are helping to address and, and, and your, you know, your solutions to those problems? Of course. Well, you know, um, so, so personally, I'm... Uh... I'm actually an engineer by training, so I started out in industry and, uh, and during that time I experienced that a lot of my colleagues were installing solar on their rooftops and uh, they were complaining about the inefficiencies of the market and uh, that kind of triggered my interest back then because um, professionally I was working in the field of operational excellence and then looking at a, at a technology like photovoltaics that was, that's so powerful was kind of striking that the market is still working with pen and paper. So that's... Um, that yeah was the spark of, of inspiration for me and uh, and from from there I just found an amazing setting in in Berlin we um, we founded Solutic in 2017 to really bring the digitalization to the uh, craftsmen of the market who want to install more and more solar panels on the rooftops um, who really want to make a change in the energy transition and help um, help getting like moving the needle and and getting closer to to net zero. Um, so with Solutic, what we do today is um, providing a monitoring solution for these installers. Uh, we work entirely technology agnostic. So PV was the start, but now it's already storage and wall boxes coming okay. in, heat pumps is the outlook. Um, and at the same time, uh, we work brand agnostic. So that means uh, as an installer, you can choose whatever kind of brand you would like to install for the customers. And you still have to just one simple monitoring solution and you can uh, maintain this entire portfolio of assets uh, quite, quite efficiently. Um, and uh, of course, when we talk about uh, software and digitalization, the sky's the limit. So a lot is yeah. to come. Okay, cool. Um, so, so, so how does it work? So, what is what's for so for Zolitic? What what does a typical customer look like? You know, so what so when we say installers, what, you know, I suppose what what you know, what do you mean by that specifically? Yeah, we we like to um, frame them as full service providers because uh, those are um, installer companies, craftsmen who who like to install solar panels on rooftops. So it can be residential or in a commercial setting. Um, but what they do is they they acquire the customer, they run, they they they, they uh, do the whole project. So they they plan the asset, they install it, they procure the the components. But then they also stay in touch with the customer and they maintain yeah. the asset for the next 20, 20 25 years. Okay. So this is what we consider as a full service provider, end to end, full life cycle, and uh, yeah, that's the ideal customer for us. Fair enough. And and so and so, and what would the benefits so just for, for you know for, for someone like me who's a bit of a you know a layman in regards to the kind of solar uh, and the PV in space yeah you know, what would the, what are the benefits to you know direct to your customers but also the end user um, by you know using your technology to help monitor those assets yeah the um, the technology is evolving very fast. Um, and what we observe is that there are more players coming in. So new brands are coming in, new technologies are coming in. Um, and what I described earlier is um, it started all with PV and now it's storage and wall boxes and then everything else. Yeah. Um, more and more residentials really think in smart energy homes. So they want they want an energy efficient home, but they also have different components. We are electrifying everything. So this these these assets that you install at home are not just one single asset class or one technology, but it's actually a very complex environment. Right. And handling all these different technologies, um, it really gives you an efficiency boost if you have all those different components in one portal and you can monitor them remotely. So um, for the installer, it's a huge benefit because they can they can maintain a large portfolio of different assets, different stakeholders, um, different customers um, at the same time efficiently in one single portal. And uh, when they identify an outage or an error or something at the customer side, they can prepare 
um, the service on site, ideally through the portal, they know which components are broken, what tools do they have to bring. So they go there once instead of twice to, to first check and then repair. Um, for the end customer, of course, it's really nice to have um, to have the support on hand anytime and also having a, uh, a crisp look at all the devices that you have installed at home and you know whether they are working or not and you know if they're performing as they should. I see. So, it's, so it's not just, is it the, the, your customers, the installers that can kind of monitor the assets that they've kind of put in place? The, the end customer, the, the end user, are they able to see the kind of performance? Are they able to see the kind of stats themselves as well? Exactly. You know, the, uh, we started out with only the installers, but um, the end customer, of course, wants to have side as well. And uh, we decided to white label our product. So um, our, our B2B customers yeah. can actually um, have their own uh, monitoring solution with their own branding, color coding and, and URL yeah. and logo and so forth. So this is also a nice, um, nice retention tool for them to stay yeah, in touch cool. with the end customer. And for the end customer, it's very obvious who they are working with. So yeah, yeah. Very cool. A lot of benefits. But suppose, yeah, very good. And I, I suppose obviously the yeah, if I think about it like historically, previously, without your technology, without something similar, um, let's say the solar panels on on my roof, um, there's an issue. You know, they're not being as efficient. They're not actually doing what they're meant to be doing. You probably wouldn't know about that for quite a while, or uh, or the, your first indication that there was a problem was that your energy usage and your energy bill was probably increased. So you've got, you know, so as an end customer, you're, you know, it's costing you more money, but also from an environmental perspective, you're, you're, you know, you're also using energy that's, you know, that has got a, a carbon footprint as well. So it's, if there is a problem, then it's, you know, the, the downside is it's going to, you know, you've got, you know, it's costing you more money and it's worse for the environment. Whereas if you can monitor it, you know, your, your B2B customers, they can identify that problem and then go and fix it straight away. Time is money. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. What, what about from your, so how many, like in terms of from your perspective, uh, as it stands at the moment, have you got any stats, Johannes, about, you know, the number of, um, you know, of these kind of um, assets that you're monitoring, how many kind of, you know, customers, um, yeah, that sort of thing, anything you can share with us, perhaps what the kind of, what any of the stats around perhaps some of the savings that you've been able to make in terms of, you know, money or carbon uh, into the environment? Yeah, you know, we so we are monitoring now um, a little bit more than 200,000 PV systems. Um, they are spread across Europe mostly, um, but actually worldwide. Um, and of course, we also provide these, uh, these this information to the customer. So um, if you if you're using the the portal, you know how much CO2 did you or equivalents did you did you save and how much money okay. did you save and so you have the the key so that's on the dashboard you can, I can't see yeah, that on the exactly. dashboard that's amazing exactly. yeah very yeah, good. of course it's a, so you, the, the, that's the information that you're interested in as yeah. that customer of course right you want to know what's your impact so um but it, as you just mentioned exactly like keeping the uptime high having the assets uh, running at full at, at full capacity all the time um of course is is, is important um the more assets we install um, I mean, you know, in, in Germany, we have been um, growing the, the number of, of um, residential sites uh, year on, on year over the last year. So we touched, I think, 380,000 uh, PV installations last year. So in residential oh. space. Um, so there's a lot. That, that's a big number. Yeah, and yeah. this becomes important for the entire grid stability. If, if, those, if, if we want to, to build our energy transition on those assets, on this, on this decentralized asset class, we have to maintain this quite professionally. Otherwise, um, we are lacking and we, we install new assets, but the old ones are, are falling off. So it's really important to, to keep an eye on it. Um, yeah. And uh, it's not just like it's, it's important for the single asset um, owner, for the, for the residential homeowner to know whether uh, if their asset is performing. But it's also important from a, from a bigger picture perspective. Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's super cool. Like, the fact that, you know, as a, as a, you know, as the user, as the owner of you know, of a house with your uh, solar panels, that you can see those metrics, you can see that data. Because I mean, that because that, that, like you said, that is what you're you're ultimately someone's interested in: the money saved and the and, the, and obviously the uh, the efficiency and yeah, you know, your savings from a carbon perspective. So it, I suppose it could become like quite. A, you know, probably a bit of fun. You know, if people, you know, how much if you if you've got one, your neighbour's got one. Well, how you know how much carbon have you been able to save compared to they have? That's probably quite a you know, cool thing as well. Yes, <laughs> go going into the competition, but it's 
Um, at some point, I, I do believe, you know, if you have your rooftop, it has a certain size. You have installed the PV site. You're not going to start optimizing um, yeah. like little little things. Um, so it's, but it, it's still fun to know for sure. Yeah, it's, it's sure. important. It's important for the big mission. So um, it, it's very important to have those indicators. Well, are you is, is your technology able to be kind of retrofit into you know, an installation that was maybe put in place five years ago, ten years ago, or is it is it just specifically for kind of new installs? No, we uh, we started with only retrofitting in the past, um, and now okay. we become um, first solution in even in, in new assets. Um, but the, the the thing to to use Solutic, um, you really only need a data logger. Um, so if your PV site can send data. Uh, we can take that data in and we can provide you with the monitoring. Um, but as I also mentioned before, we are working brand agnostic and, and there are many, many different brands. So yeah. we cannot give a promise like right away up front uh, that we can have, that we have all brands already installed, but we are touching now the 150 different protocols. So it's a wide range of, uh, yeah. of assets that we can onboard right away. And it takes like one minute. So okay, quite easy. Super cool. Okay, well, let's talk a little, a little bit about Zolitic then, uh, Johannes. So you, I mean, you said the company was founded in, you said 2017, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's correct. So uh, what, what, yeah, what does the company look like at the moment? How big is the company um, Yeah, as, as we stand? And also look really interested to find out as well, Johannes, what the future looks like. So, you know, where, yeah, if we were to fast forward two years, three years, five years, you know, what does Zolitic look like at that point? Yeah, we exactly as you said. We we started in 2017, and we uh, we built this uh, this this high performing monitoring platform. Now going touching the 200,000 PV sites. Um, in in those included are already 70,000 batteries and and a couple thousand uh, wall boxes. So that it's it's a okay. quite wow. um, big infrastructure. Uh, yeah, we are, we are processing now about three billion data points per day. So that's um, that wow. is big data um, in its lot. finest. Um, we're working very closely with Microsoft um, Azure together here um, because we, um, of course, that's that that scale just requires um, very um, yeah, professional solutions. So we 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 grew up uh, in the last years and yeah, but... <laughs> uh, we matured the product quite quite well. Um, now we are uh, we are we are focusing a lot on this B two B business. So we we have this professional monitoring solution that is for professionals. Um, as a white label, also very interesting for the end customer. Um, but what, what we are taking now as the next step is commercializing our API, for instance, because uh, a lot of large scale customers are very much interested in using the data also in their energy management, um, connecting the PV data also with the uh, with the ERP or CRM. So, so different tools they have in place and they, they just want to become more data savvy and it's very important yeah. that you make this data accessible and uh, that you don't have to download chart by chart or day by day um, so we we're commercializing now our api so our customers can connect directly to the uh, to the data that they are producing okay um, and uh, and leverage it for for additional products and additional benefits when will when, so from the api perspective when when will that be available when when will your you know when will the customer be able be able to kind of utilize that uh, we've been we've been you know building and testing this already for for more than a year. So we have already uh, large scale test customers and pilot customers in place. Um, but we are now for the commercial API that's easily available for anyone. We are in the beta phase right now, and uh, we intend okay. to launch this in Q two. Fair enough. Okay, so that's that sounds interesting. And what about kind of bit you know, for, sort of further out into the future? Any kind of you know plans? you know, two, three years down the line, anything else kind of it's interesting, exciting on the horizon for Zolitic? We, we are very big fans of collaboration. So we, um, we've we been uh, working together with other software companies in the past to kind of, you know, who, who have complementary solutions to ours. Um, and we see now more and more young entrepreneurs coming into the solar space and then becoming installers. And, and they have a different ambition. You know, the traditional ones, they work with pen and paper and they, they do their job well. Um, yeah. And maybe some of them want to scale, some of them don't. Um, those who do, they are looking into digital solutions um, uh, like Solutic. And, and there are others which, which have a similar um, touch and feel. And, um, and, and especially the young ones um, who, who are, yeah, you know, digital natives, um, they, are, they, they start looking for, for SaaS solutions that they can leverage. Yeah. 
So we're kind of looking into the space. Um, how can we define a digital tech stack um, that you can that you can leverage for your own operations? So you can automate your processes, you can scale them easily. Um, you really leverage the power of digitalization. Um, so you automate and, and optimize your processes along the way from installing, selling, uh, maintenance, like any kind of workflow should be uh, should be more efficient in future. So we can actually, um, you know, meet our goals regarding the energy transition, building more solar yeah. systems every year. So you're open to ideas on collaborations, partnerships. So any we'll so we'll obviously we'll include a link to your uh, your LinkedIn profile we'll link, and a link for, so people can contact you. You know if they if they want to get in touch um, and discuss that. I mean, see, I think that's a really interesting point actually because um, we we was at an event recently and one of one of the kind of topics that was talked about was partnerships and the fact that. It, you know, it, it is so vital. We're, it, you know, we're all in this space, in the green tech and the climate tech space, with the kind of same ambition to help save the planet, reduce carbon, help with the energy transition. So, it, you know, even if you're working in a similar space to someone else, someone's got a, a kind of product that is, you know, similar or does a similar thing. Are you really, you're not, it's not, are you really competition, I suppose, in the sense in that that particular marketplace potentially but ultimately you know the more people that are kind of doing the you know helping towards these planetary goals the quicker we're going to get to that it will hopefully limit that what you know that 1.5 degree increase so it's you know i think that's we you know every you know, you know i know we are i know lots of other people i've spoken to you're very much open to the idea of partnerships collaboration and just to you know to see how we can help achieve our goals better and, and more quickly together Exactly. You know, we need to resolve bottlenecks and uh, scaling the, the solar market faster and, and, and better than we did in the past. We need to become, you know, the, the, also these assets need to become cheaper. So we need to become more efficient. We have to take, uh, we have to consider jump innovation here and there. And uh, collaboration yeah. is a great way to get there. Solving bottlenecks um, or solving problems, resolving bottlenecks. This is what we want to do. This is why we became entrepreneurs and uh, yeah. and uh, that's exactly where where the passion comes from amazing well uh johannes it's it's been an absolute pleasure to have you as a guest on the impact series um look i mean it's uh, yeah I, I was super excited before we kind of jumped on a video today um and i yeah, really enjoyed the conversation and it'd be let it be great to revisit this a little bit further down the line, kind of have a check back in in, in, a, in a year or so and see how uh, you've been getting on and how, how things are developing at Zolitic. Sounds great, Michael. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, it's also great what you guys do. Um, I think you, you, you know, you're very important um, for, for growing fast uh, when, you, when you build a company. It's, it's incredible to, um, to find talent from around the world and you guys help to a big deal there to, to get things going. So thank you also for you. Well, yeah, it's very nice, very kind of you to say so, and I, and I, I appreciate that a lot. Thanks, thanks very much, Janice. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.